Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today is Wednesday and on Wednesdays we usually talk about small projects or ideas that can help you fix your car or things around the household. It's no exception today. <clears throat> we are going to show you three easy repairs that will save you money and will really improve the quality of your life. The first is how to replace a light switch on a lamp. Save the lamp from the lead fill and especially if you like the lamp, not have to take it to a shop or pay an electrician to fix it for you. The second is a quick repair if your uh, security system has stopped working in a door or in a window. And the third is how to fix doors like this that are either stuck or they do not open. So come along and enjoy our video. A common failure in small electrical devices are these switches. Uh, in general they are cheaply made and if your device stops working like the case is with this lamp and you establish that your light bulb actually is good, uh, one of the easiest ways to replace is to replace this switch rather than go out and buy a new lamp. So you start by the all switches usually have a, a nut and a bolt. You start by removing it. Mmm, horrible. And we bought a little better quality switch to replace it. There are two types of switches. This specific one had little prongs that actually beat into the cables and it is not the preferable way of doing it but before we decide what we're going to do with the cables we need to see what type of switch we bought I need a bigger screwdriver So you bought this this way or someone installed the switch? Bought it that way. And then I decided I liked the lamp. I went back and bought a second one and they had the other type of switch in it. Oh, yeah. So they had already upgraded. This is a more proper switch. But we will need more tools. So we need to free a little more cable here in this switch it has terminals unlike this switch which is a, a much better way of actually doing this so we are going to clear some cable This is a particular tool that does this, that clears the, the plastic casing from the wiring. Now you don't necessarily need this tool. It just makes it easier. Then make sure that you twist your cables. That makes the individual threads behave almost as if they were one thread. And then what you have to do is Make a loop mm. It was there and now it isn't Are you following or? Always make a loop in a way that as you tighten the screw 
it tightens your connection. Simply thread the, the extract cable through. Make sure that there is no cable where the, the holes for the screws are because that would generate a very dangerous situation. You could actually electrocute yourself. And now we simply re This is a very easy repair. It is not dangerous at all because as you see this is not plugged in and it should not be plugged in as you're doing it. Okay. And this should be it. You want to plug it in? Yep. And now we have a working lamp again. For a cost of under a dollar, how much was no, this? No, it was three and a half dollars for the switch, but still much less than a new lamp. Definitely avoid this kind of switches. Again, if you remember from the other switch, the adposis with terminals, this switch simply has little prongs that get into the, the cable. And uh, this one also has just, basically it's a dial that you just turn the dial. The new one that we installed is a toggle switch that goes like that. So this is stress actually. Yeah. All right. And again, especially since I love the lamp, much nicer than trying to replace it. I will just show you an easy repair if you have a home security system. If you have a home security system, it is set to generate a beep or an alarm if it is armed when you open or close a door or a window, whatever you have. In, in our case, we have a security system but as you can hear, nothing happens when we open our door. So I will show you how to easily fix this problem. So all you have to do is look at your jam and try to find something that is in essence a magnet. And it will look something like this. So in our case, it's right there. So what has happened is that the magnet in our door either weakened and is not triggered the system or has fallen off inside the door. This is an exterior grade door, so it is metal. And it's hard to know what, but all you need to perform this repair is a small neonidium magnet. And let's see if it works. And you can hear the magnet activates it. Because this is a metal door, it makes our life a little easier. I think it's approximately there. So I will put it there for a moment without glue and see if it works. And sure enough, you heard the beep. So we're going to use some CA glue now to permanently attach the magnet there and our repair will be complete.
And because this is a metal door, we don't need to do anything else. If you had a wooden door, maybe you could use a little uh, tape to hold the magnet and for a few seconds or just hold it by hand for a few seconds so it will not fall off. But this has, in essence, fixed our security system. If you have a pair of French doors separating your bedroom from your bathroom, chances are that the doors themselves are plastic and the whole jam is actually metal rather than wood. And in this one we have two problems. The first one is that this is very hard to open. So if you come here there is a small adjustment and by turning it you can adjust how much this little bowl is protruding and now this is a much softer close. You don't even have to pr press it to close it. So it is that simple to fix that. On the other side, however, we have a problem. And the problem is that the whole mechanism is missing. Can you go under and show this? So we went to our favorite hardware store and we purchased the correct size screw. Of course we don't need a screw so we're going to have to cut the head off but if we put it there now we can achieve a similar result So, the question is how far to cut it. I'm going to eyeball this. How should I mark it? Hmm. We might have to try it a couple of times, but let's... All right. So we might need to cut it more, I don't know yet. So we need to cut a little bit more. I thought it would hold it, but it didn't. Take it further back into the jaw. Huh? Take it further back into the jaws instead of at the tip. I think it fell in or it fell out. It's right here. So at this point, we look and see if we are approximately the same height and the door should be working. So this is an other... Do you want me to close it? I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Garage Woodworker. And you can see we presented you with three easy to fix problems in your house. I hope you found this short video informative and useful. If you did, smash the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Subscribe, share and comment. And we will see you on Sunday with a full project.